Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to do this beautiful watercolor floral pot. So to begin with I am using this Menora sketchbook. It is a red A5 size spiral sketchbook, 180 GSM paper. You can uh, buy it easily from Amazon or from Menora's site. I have put in the links in the description. So on this book I have drawn a very light flower pot and I will be using these watercolor sheets today. So uh, the link for that also I am just dropping it in the description. You can check them out. So these are watercolor sheets. You can just wet them lightly and use them to paint. So I'll be doing the painting with this but if you don't have these you can use any normal watercolor that you have. Don't worry about that. So I have first of all started applying a very very thin layer of water on my entire pot. So that is what we begin with. As we are going to do a wet on wet technique, make sure that your pot is completely uh, applied with one layer of thin water. So now I've just taken some violet color in my brush and we'll start painting on the leftmost part of the flower pot with that color. If you want you can use any other color which is going to be contrast. So I'll be using uh, yellow for my flowers. So you can either use uh, yellow for your flowers and blue or violet or red or green anything that is contrast to that color you can use it to get a nice vibrant color effect and just uh, check on the places in which I am putting on my paint and you can see the other part of my pot is still completely wet so that's why my color is nicely going on merging with each other and the plain part as well so I am not painting the entire pot purple you can see I am just spreading in the color lightly only with my wet brush in the internal parts of the pot and I am just uh, keeping the high color pigment at the edge of the pot. Give it a nice sharp clear edge to the pot go slow with your brush so I am using a 10 number round brush for this but you can use any brush whichever you are comfortable with so we are keeping some areas lighter in shade as compared to the others to just uh, demarcate nice shades and shadows and just highlight some areas lighter and keep some areas darker in that way the pot will look more beautiful than it will look if you color the entire pot with the same color so we don't want to do that we want to keep it nice natural and pretty looking with correct light and shadows and dark parts and lighter areas so we are trying to achieve that with this also just uh, make sure to blend your colors lightly with one another because uh, you don't want your lines to be seen very sharp. So we want to see a nice gradual shift from dark to lighter colors and that's what we are trying to achieve here. So again in the edges now I am again going on with some highly pigmented shade. So more of color and less of water now. Also, if you have seen the video till here and if you are enjoying painting with me, make sure to hit that like button right below the video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, just press on the subscribe button as well and press on the bell icon so that you get regular notifications about all my new videos and don't miss out on my videos.
Also, if you love this, just drop in the comment and let me know if you are going to try it out and let me know which colors you are going to use. Are they going to be the same or are you going to try it out with some different colors? So let me know that in the comments. And other than that, if you have any other doubts, you can just drop them in the comments and I'll definitely reply to you or if there are any major doubts, I'll also try to make a video on that and try to explain you. So now I am just giving a slightly darker shade at the top of the pot where uh, there is that opening, the mouth of the pot. And now we are almost done with the pot so let's move on to our flowers first. So for the flowers I'll be using my chrome yellow color shade. You can use any other contrast color which you like. So I'm simply making some very simple four petaled flowers and I am using my uh, phone number brush for this so you can use any brush that you want i am also linking it in the description so in case you wish to buy it they are very affordable brushes you can check them out so in the edges i'll be just drawing some small buds and some lesser petal flowers which are just opening up or blooming up and in the central portions we'll be drawing all four petal flowers and i am just simply doing it randomly with my chrome yellow color you don't need to worry much about the shape of the petals or the shape of the flower don't worry about that and after you are done with the petals immediately just take some yellow ochre color when your flower is still wet and just drop it in the central part of the flower and for the birds in the lower portion just to get a nice shading effect of the different colors of dark and light and we are going to repeat the same process for entire flowers so just keep watching the location of the flowers that I am making and just try to make it accordingly And I'll be just drawing the branches like small stems of the flower with my burnt umber color which is the brown color. So you can use any brown shade that you have for this and make sure that your branch lines are very thin. And then we'll continue adding more such flowers. You can use a green or brown or a mixture of both sap green and burnt umber to make your branches. And then we'll continue with more flowers. You can see I am keeping it so watery in the start and afterwards when I'll add the yellow ochre in the center it will look beautiful.
so apart from these if you want to learn more from me i have online classes on skillshare which are pre-recorded sessions so skillshare is a platform on which you can learn all my paintings if you have a subscription so it works similar to uh, all the ott platforms that are there in which you just need to get a subscription and you can access all the pre-recorded classes anytime you want and right now there is a very special offer going on so as a teacher i can give you a one month free trial subscription in which you will just have to tap on the link which is just right below in the description of this video and you can register with all your details there and once you register on it you will get one month complete free subscription in which you can watch all the classes and learn all the paintings for free completely for free for one month and after that uh, you will be charged for the subscription later on and if you still don't wish to pay and continue with the subscription you can just discontinue your membership from the skillshare site before your one month free trials ends and you will not be charged anything at all so you can definitely just take advantage of the free offer and try out my classes the link is right there in the description so you can quickly register before the offer ends and if you have any doubts about that or any questions about skillshare you can definitely drop me a message on instagram rt vibes by sanika and i'll be glad to help you out with it So let me show you another way in which you can do this you can first draw the stems like this and then you can draw and add the flowers so you can either go this way around or else you can start with the flowers first and then draw the stems so it's totally upon you you can go any way not a problem So now I'll be using my sap green color to add a few branches here and there or some leaves here and there. So this is a complete abstract like a loose floral painting that we are doing. So don't worry about the shape of the leaves or the flowers or anything like that. Just uh, be free, explore your style and go on adding like adding different stuffs to it and don't worry uh, it will definitely turn out good So now we are done with the flowers I think so we'll just add a few details onto our pot with a darker violet color itself.
and now i have mixed some black and violet color to get a very darker shade of that and i am adding a little few strokes here and there with that to add some dark parts and we are done with this painting if you want to learn one more similar flower pot i'll just uh, link the video and you can watch it right after this video do subscribe